Kitzer Shochan Aruch, Simen Kuf Ches, Simen 108, Halacha Dalit, the fourth Halacha. Going further with our discussion of uh, the flour and its uh, production and storage. Okay, Sach, a sack, a sack in Kemach with flour in it, Shenislachlach, who has become wet. Mimaim from water. If it became moist or wet in one place, whether it is still wet, whether or whether it has become dry. What's the etzel? What do we do? We should take that place, that place in the sack, and hold it off. Biado, we should hold it. hashar, and we should pour out the rest. So, if, imagine if it was uh, in one corner, it got wet, and somehow or another, we should pinch off that corner with our hands, so that that flour is uh, still in the, the corner of the sack, and the rest of it we can pour out. And it says hashar, the left left over is mutter umutter. It's permissible. So, in other words, the the moisture was localized. And it did not spread throughout the sack, so we're not concerned that it uh, made all the flower comments. Okay. Rach, Zesh, and Nislachlach, Asr. Only that, this flower, the one that you have uh, sequestered, only that ha that became wet, that is, that's, that's Asr. That's forbidden. Fine. Fe'im Nislachlach, Bekamamakomos, if it became wet in many places, we have a sack and rain drizzled down upon it and it became wet in many places. You can't do like that. You cannot uh, pinch off one discrete section from the sack and pour out the rest. If it can't be done that way, if uh, the bag was lightly uh, drizzled upon and as such sort of the entire outer layer of, of the sack is suspect to have become comets, then what do we do? Here, here's the etza. As I then im adain hulach. If it is still wet, still moist, yorachet esachemach. We should sift out the flour. Yeah, that's it. We should flip, uh, sift out the flour. Mash nishar al al hanafa. And what it remains on the uh, the sieve, perun as uh, as grains, as uh, as uh, clumps. Yeah, whatever uh, clumps of flour that remains, then that's what's that's that's the flour that got wet. And then in that case, it, it's remaining on the the sieve, and everything else is went through. Is there Then that only those clumps, that's what that's what has become chametz. Ve'ashar mutter, and the rest is mutter. The the dry flour that went through the sieve, then that's mutter, and the clumps are chametz. So we should discard the uh, the chametz. And likewise, im barim. Now this speaks to, again to sort of the, the conditions uh, of the time. If uh, likewise, if the, the the grain, the flour was eaten from akbarim, from from mice, mina the the flour they ate, uh, so they chewed through the bag and they ate from the chemach. Then what do we do? Yurach then we we would sift it just like we did if it got, got rained upon, if it got wet. We would sift it, and I guess the, the, it's kind of disgusting. But I guess the saliva from the the rodents would make the uh, some of the flour clump together, and it's those clumps we're worried about. Of all, but in kvar nishavish, if it has already become dry, and uh, it would be hard to tell the difference between the one one kind of flour and, and the other kind of flour, the, the flour that got wet and the flour that didn't get wet. Lo mahanile. This this sifting doesn't help. Harachada. Uh, this sifting, the windowing doesn't help. Kol kemach aser, and all the flour is considered aser. It's aser for Passover. I mean, obviously, I can take this flour and use it to bake a nice a piece of French bread, a nice loaf of French bread, or a nice challah. But here, it, it, it's aser to use for the purpose of uh, of matzah. Okay. I hope you'll join me next time for the next halacha. Um, I wish you well. Call to Hasalcharava. Keep learning.